adopted her last September in Battle Creek uh, County shelter, animal shelter, and um, she kind of picked me when I went in there. She jumped up on my lap and stayed the whole time, and so I said, well, I guess I have to take her. I haven't really had her get out of the house other than the one time she went through the screen door and there was a little chipmunk outside and she decided she wanted to go out so she went right through the screen it was one of those nylon screens just popped it that quick <laughs> cats can be sneaky <laughs> We wasn't too sure whether she would, we could get by taking her on the trip or not, but we decided that that's what we was going to do. We went from Michigan to Oklahoma, from Oklahoma to Albuquerque, New Mexico to visit a friend of mine, and then we just started out and decided we were just going all different places. And we knew we were going to the Arches, the Tetons. She was still with us at the arches and canyon land. We went over the mountain into Haystack and she always come out when we stopped. And that night she didn't appear. And I started asking him where she was at and so he didn't think about it and I said, well, the window was left down when we were at the county park. I was pretty sure I'd seen her there. So he said, well, we'll go back. And we pulled in there and he put a shirt outside thinking maybe the cat would come back to the shirt and lay on it through the night or something and we got up the next morning she wasn't there we looked about two hours called walked around the area but we didn't find her at all so we decided that we was going to have to go ahead and leave her knowing she had a chip and knowing there was a stream through there i knew she had water but i had no idea as far as food on the way back, we stopped in the same area because I told him, we come home a different way, but I told him that I wanted to at least go back and see if we could try and find her. So we went back to Bernie Falls and spent the night at the park there and then drove over to Redding and uh, seeing if we could find her anywhere. On the answering machine, there was a call stating that they had found Callie. She was in Redding, California, and wanting to know what to do. She was lost on June 15th, and we got the phone call August 3rd. So I, I really didn't think I'd see her again. So they did pretty much all the rest, uh, and I was amazed. The phone was ringing off the hook, I'll tell you, uh, for a couple of days. But I was amazed. Everything was set up through home again. They figured out the flight, someone to take her down to the airport, which was 175 miles. And I, they asked me which airport I wanted her to come into. I gave them four different names and they ended up picking Kalamazoo. And that was one that was about 12 miles away from us was all. It was kind of a happy reunion. <laughs> and I never thought that they would have, I'd ever have to use the chip because I've had cats before and they've always stayed inside. But I was thankful that I had her chipped because it got her back to us. And she means an awful lot.